Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Blair. Today we are doing a full face of wet and wild makeup. So I was inspired to do this because I got the new dewy foundation from Wet n Wild and I had a few other products from them but I decided to pick up a few more things so I had enough to do a full face of Wet n Wild and that's what we're doing today. If you're interested in seeing how I got this makeup look using Wet n Wild makeup, please keep watching. Please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair. I'm trying to post more over there, so I'd really love it if you would come follow me over there as well. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Started. The first thing I got is, I think this is new. This is the Wet n Wild, let's see, Photo Focus Luminous Primer Stick. And I'm guessing this is supposed to be like a dupe for the Milk Makeup Primer Sticks. I forget what it's called. So here's what it looks like. It's a very light, almost looks like a gold kind of color. I don't know. Maybe it'll just look like a champagne sheen on the face. I've never really used a primer stick before, so I was really curious about this. Not really sure. How to apply it. I'm just gonna I guess brush some on and then kind of blend it in with my fingers. It does have kind of a tacky feel to it, like it feels kind of like Definitely feels like a primer that's going to really grip on to makeup, so. I don't know how luminous I think it looks, though. I mean, I guess it gave me a little bit of a sheen to my face, but I don't know that I notice a whole lot. So, I'm not sure about this. I guess we'll see how it looks with the foundation, but... So far, not sure about this, but we'll see. I did also get this Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. I got this because I've, Casey Holmes here on YouTube is always talking about this. She's always using this in her videos, so I was just very curious. And so it says you can use this to prime or to set your makeup or refresh your face throughout the day. So we're going to use it. Oh, wow, has a very powerful mister. Smells good too if you like coconut scents. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of my corrector to my under eyes because Wet n Wild does not make an under eye corrector. I wish they did. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and then I'll be back and we'll try out the concealer. Now we're gonna go ahead and Use the Wet n Wild Concealer, Correct Photo Focus Concealer and Corrector. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's a pretty tiny little tube. It's kind of short and fat. And I got mine in the shade Light Honey, 820A. And I did kind of have a hard time picking a color like I normally do with drugstore foundation and concealer. You just don't ever really know. Okay, so I do think this is going to work. It's a very, very thin consistency. And I did also get, I have used this before, and this is such a good sponge, the Wet n Wild beauty sponge. These are, I want to say two or three dollars and this is such a good sponge for the price. I would highly recommend. So we are just gonna blend this concealer in. One reason I like this sponge is if you can see it has the pointed side and it's 
flat right here. So it fits really easily up against your lash line and under your eye for concealer. So that's why I like this sponge. Wow, it's very smooth. I would say definitely not a full coverage. I would say it's more of a medium coverage. But it's very, very lightweight. It looks pretty good, actually. Just not full, full coverage. You can definitely still see some of my darkness peeking through. I'm going to add a tiny bit more. I feel like I don't ever hear anyone talking about this concealer. It does have a little bit of a scent to it. I can't tell what it smells like, but it definitely does have a little bit of fragrance to it, which I don't love. I think this is what I'm most excited to try. It's the new Dewy Foundation from Wet n Wild. It's the Dewy version of the original Photo Focus Foundation actually had a little bit of a hard time finding this. I was seeing all these reviews on YouTube, but I could not find this anywhere in store. And then I finally found it in Walgreens. And now, of course, now that I found it, I've seen it everywhere. <laughs> but, so I got the shade Soft Ivory. Oh, it says Shake Well. So let me shake it. I have tried the original Photo Focus Foundation a while ago, and I don't remember a whole lot about it other than the infamous smell. It smells like straight up paint. Um, it does have the same little paddle applicator as the original, which I kind of don't love this applicator, but oh well. So, I do not know how much to apply. Okay, so this is very, very liquidy. Like, really liquidy. That was probably way too much, but I'm gonna first use a brush to blend this in, and then I'm gonna go over it with my Wet n Wild sponge. Ooh, this color may be a little bit light for me. So this one has a smell too, but I don't know that it smells like the original. Because the original just smells like straight up paint. Like, it's very, very strong. But this one kind of smells like that concealer. I don't really know what... The smell is. It's not a horrible smell though. Now I'm gonna go over it with my damp sponge. So right off the bat I can tell this is much much more luminous than the original Photo Focus Foundation. In fact the original, I haven't tried it in such a long time that I have a hard time remembering, but it, if I remember right, is very, 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 very matte, which is not my favorite. I just prefer more of a hydrating, luminous foundation. And this is blending out really, really pretty. It definitely has a glow to it, but it's not like a greasy look. It's just a very natural, hydrated look, which is what I prefer. Wow. I really like it. And I feel like, I'm trying to remember. I feel like when I tried the original Photo Focus Foundation, one thing that um, I noticed about it was it did kind of settle 
into lines. Like I don't have a ton of lines, don't get me wrong, but I have some lines like on my forehead that with certain foundations, sometimes I'll notice foundation will settle in those lines more than others. And I want to say I noticed that with the original photo focus foundation, but I'm not noticing that at all with this one. The finish is so pretty. Okay, so as of right now, I really like the foundation. I mean, obviously, I don't know if it's going to continue to look like this. Maybe it's just when I first apply it, I really like it, but I love the finish of this. This is my ideal foundation finish. Not greasy looking, but I, do, I just don't like matte foundation for the most part on myself. So I'm excited to see how this looks with the rest of my products, but so far I am very, very excited about this foundation. The next thing I got is the Wet n Wild makeup stick, one of the contour sticks, and this one is in the shade Where's Walnut 806. So this I wanted to try because Mandy Lee here on YouTube some of you may watch her already. If you don't, you should. I love her videos, but she is always talking about um, this contour stick, and I've always really wanted to try it, so I figured now would be a great time when I was doing this video. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush. This is the brush I use most often for cream bronzers. This is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. So, I'm just gonna stipple some of this on my face. So this kind of reminds me of my Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. This one is a little bit warmer though, I will say, but it's very, very pretty. You could just draw this straight onto your skin, but I usually like to use a brush the first time I use products like this just because I don't know how pigmented they are or how difficult it's going to be to blend them out. But this one is blending pretty easily, actually. I also got the blush stick as well, and this one is in the shade Floral Majority. It's very, very pretty, kind of a rosy color. Kind of reminds me of one of my favorite sticks from Milk Makeup is in the shade Work. And I thought this color looked very similar to that, so that's why I went with this shade. They did have one or two more colors in these. There was a really bright coral one and then more of a pink, but this one I thought was super pretty. So I'm going to take my little Real Technique setting brush and grab some of this on my brush. And just add a little bit of this. So pretty. I bet this would be really pretty on your lips too, actually. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. Wow. Super excited about that. So, so far I'm liking all of these things. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like the drugstore recently has just been killing it with products. I don't I don't know, but like these products are so affordable. I mean, Wet n Wild, I know a lot of drugstore products 
are getting more expensive as the years go on, but Wet n Wild is so affordable. I mean, a lot of these products are like $5 and under. Very, very inexpensive. It just blows me away. So I did also get one of these. It said these were new to these Wet n Wild blushes. The Color Icon Blush. This one is in the shade Nudist Society. So this has some shimmer to it. So I'm actually just going to use a tiny, tiny bit of this just to kind of set where we put those cream products. I'm going to take just a tiny bit on my little brush here and just kind of stipple it where we put the blush and the bronzer. They had a bunch more shades of these blushes as well. They had some brighter ones. This one is more of almost a bronzy, kind of a nude blush, but so, so pretty. It does have the shimmer, like I said, but I think it looks super, super pretty with those cream products. So, so excited about these things. Now we're going to move on to eyebrows. And for this, I got the Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil. And I got mine in the shade Ash Brown. This again was, I forget how much it was, but it was like $3, I want to say. It was very inexpensive. They did only have three shades of these, which kind of sucks for an eyebrow pencil, but hopefully this color will be okay. It does come with a spoolie on one end. This brow pencil is one of the angled tip brow pencils. which I've used these before. I don't use this style of pencil on an everyday basis, but I have used it before. Okay, so I'm going to first start outlining the bottom of the brow. So this color is actually really good for me. I'm just going to use the angled part to kind of brush up the brow in the front. So that looks pretty good. So I really love doing these full face videos. It is harder to do it with high-end brands because I have to accumulate enough products to do a full face video, but with the drugstore products, it's a little easier since they're more affordable. So if there is a brand you want me to do a full face of, please let me know in the comments because I really, really like doing these kinds of videos. I think they're really fun to kind of figure out which are standout products from a brand. I think these are really fun. I am going to take that concealer and use it to even out my lids on my eyes. We are going to do the one of the most simple eye looks ever. Today with some new multi sticks that I got from Wet n Wild and I'm very excited about it. I'm really excited about these. I got two of these. The Wet n Wild Color Icon Multi Sticks. I got two of them. This one is more matte. This one has a little bit of shimmer. I'll swatch them for you. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, 
So this is the matte one. How pretty is that? It's like a camel brown. Oh, so pretty. This is the shimmery one. Oh my gosh, so pretty. There is the shimmery one. How pretty are those? Oh, I love them so, so much. I'm so excited to try these. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm not kidding when I say this is gonna be like the most simple thing ever. I'm gonna take the matte one and I'm literally gonna draw just a little bit of this in the crease of my eye. And then I'm gonna take this Morphe M505 and just lightly blend this out. Oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. Okay, bam. How pretty is that? I'm gonna take a little bit of the shimmer stick and I'm going to just draw some of this on the lid. Now I'm gonna take my ring finger and just kind of blend this in on the lid. I mean, this is so pretty and so easy. And then if you feel like you need to blend some more, just take your brush again. They had more colors of these multi sticks. Now I'm wishing I got a few more colors because they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. And that's all we're gonna do for eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner in the shade Sima Brown Now. And these are so inexpensive, they're like 98 cents. And the reason I got this is because Mandy Lee, again, who I was talking about earlier that was talking about these contour sticks, she is always talking about this Wet n Wild eyeliner. And I just see it constantly in her videos. She talks about it. So I knew I wanted to get one of these to try out. Oh my gosh, this is super creamy. And that is super, super creamy. So I'm just doing a pretty thin line. And then I am just gonna take a little bit of this. This is one of the Wet n Wild single shadows. And this one is in the shade Nutty. These are kind of hard to find. I don't know why, this is a really pretty, kind of a taupey brown. So I'm getting a little bit of that on my brush. And I am just gonna kind of smudge this over where we just put that eyeliner. And then I'm just gonna use it to lightly kind of do a tiny little flick. That eyeliner, no wonder she's always talking about this. This is 98 cents and this is so creamy. You know how some pencils like this that are less expensive are really hard to work with. You have to push down really, really hard to get any pigment off. This one, you do not at all. So highly recommend this pencil. They did have a black one and then 
I want to say they had another color brown, like a more cool toned brown. So if you need a good inexpensive eye pencil, definitely look into this one from Wet n Wild. Now I'm going to take that same nutty shade on a little Morphe E36 brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my lower lash line. I am going to use this Precious Petals Mega Glow Highlighting Powder from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to use this as highlighter and a little bit of a highlight on the inner corners of my eye. I remember on YouTube for a while, everybody was talking about this highlighter from Wet n Wild. And I have used this before and this is very good. It's a very intense highlight. For mascara, I got the Wet n Wild, let's see, Mega Length Mascara in very black. Wet n Wild has a good many mascaras to choose from, but this one seemed to get the best reviews, so that's why I went with this one. If I can get it out of the package. So here's what the tube looks like. Very, very skinny little wand. Okay, so definitely super lengthening and very separating. Pretty good. I'm gonna do a second coat because I pretty much always do a second coat of mascara. Okay, so there it is with two coats. It looks pretty good actually. And because this wand is so small, I feel like this will also be good for bottom lashes because a lot of times I have to use two different mascaras for my top and bottom lashes just because I find a lot of brushes are just too big for up under your eye. So I'm going to try to use this one for my bottom lashes. Last but not least for lips, I got one of the gel lip liners. This one is in the shade Bare to Comment. They had only a few shades of lip liners to choose from, but I thought I really wanted a nude, and this was really the only one that looked to be a nude. So I'll swatch it for you. Oh, it is a pretty pinky nude. So pretty. Definitely more of a pinky nude, but very, very pretty. I do like the formula of this. This color is definitely more pink than I wanted. Yeah, definitely more of a rosy color. I was really wanting more nude, but the formula is very nice and the color is pretty. I do have this liquid catsuit high shine lipstick from Wet n Wild and I use this all the time. This is in the shade Send Nudes. This is probably going to be a little bit nude for this lip liner, but I actually think these from Wet n Wild are one of their best products, these liquid catsuit 
They say high shine lipsticks. I think they're supposed to be more of a liquid lipstick, but they are so, so thin and creamy. They are not drying at all, and they're very comfortable to wear on your lips. So I would definitely check those out. They have a bunch of colors. So that's what the lips look like. Super pretty. And last but not least, I'm going to take the coconut spray again. And set my face. So this is the final look. I think a lot of these products are winners. Seriously. This foundation, if you like luminosity in your foundations and a luminous look to your face, I would definitely look into this one from Wet n Wild. I want to say this was like $5.99 for the price. This is definitely something to look into, I think. The primer stick is okay. I would say if you already have a primer that you really like, I don't think this is a must have, you must go out and buy it, but I am wondering if it did contribute to the luminous look of my face, but I don't think this is 100% necessary. I do very much like the coconut spray, really nice, it smells nice, it does have a pretty intense mister, so if you don't like that, that's just something to keep in mind. Both of these cream products I absolutely love. I would highly recommend these. They, like I said, had a few other colors in the blush and the bronzer. They also had highlight sticks like this as well that I probably should have picked up because I really like those. The concealer I like. I actually did not set this concealer mainly because I did not pick up a setting powder. I don't know why, so I just didn't use one. I like the concealer. It looks very nice. It does not look dry. I will say it's not great coverage though. I mean, it's just not. Even if you apply a few coats, I still think you're going to see darkness peeking through because even me, when I use my corrector underneath and I used a little bit of this two times and you can still kind of see my discoloration under my eyes. So if you have a lot to cover, I would probably skip the concealer, but if you don't and you want a really good, lightweight, smooth, everyday concealer, I would look into this one. Let's talk about these shadow sticks. The shadow sticks I absolutely love. I will say the only thing I am noticing is they are creasing on my eyelids, if you can see right there. That could also be because I used the concealer as my primer. I maybe should have used an actual eye primer or something, and that might have helped with that. I don't know. But that is something to keep in mind. They do crease a little bit. But to me, I don't hate that at all. That just makes it look kind of lived in to me. But if that bothers you, you might want to try putting another eye primer on or something else underneath these shadow sticks but colors so so pretty creamy easy to work with really liked those the eye pencil absolutely love this I mean look how big this eye pencil is I feel like this is gonna last for quite a while and it's so creamy for 98 cents you definitely cannot beat this the liquid lip I already knew I really liked this I do really like the lip liner as well it's just a little more pink than what I was wanting but the formula is very nice very pigmented and very very creamy so overall I am super impressed with these products for the price I think these are really really great quality so that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you think of this look and let me know if you have a favorite product from Wet n Wild or if you've tried their new dewy foundation. I would love to know. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. I do post new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Also, make sure to follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair, same name as I am here on YouTube. Thank you guys for being here and supporting my channel. It means so, so much to me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember, simply be you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.